right? So really getting in the top two rankings on, on you know, when someone types in a search for something is really, really important. That's why there are companies out there called search engine optimization companies and search engine optimization heroes who just spend all of their time doing this for companies. And some of it can cost a lot of dollars, but it doesn't have to. The nice thing is that Google loves blogs. And, and, and as long as you start blogging, or, or Twittering now, because Twitter is also coming up huge in Google searches. So all you need to do is, if you, if you really want to dominate your area of, of interest in your local community, is make sure that you've got some sort of blogging mechanism, which Facebook can do as well, um, but not as well yet, but that'll come. Um, or you Twitter, and you'll get up in the search engine rankings. Okay. Social media, unlike a traditional, say, print media or TV media or whatever, social media is, is a completely new ball game because it really is person to person. It's really social, right? So I engage in conversations with you, and vice versa. You can engage in conversation back with me. You know, it's like the laughter that we've had in the audience so far. It's not been canned laughter. You know, there's not someone up in the, in the you know, the, uh, the the monitor room, sort of, you know, putting up a, a you know, canned uh, audience, you know. Rah, rah, rah. So therefore, because it's so very real, it's real individual to individual, that it's based on four ethos. And, and I've searched high and low to know whether it's ethi, is in plural, or <laughs> ethe, or ethu. Um, and it, I've searched loads of academic sites, and it's come down to the plural of ethos is ethos. I think, but it took me about a day to find that. So there are four social media ethos. One is truth. Trust, transparency, and accountability. What I call the three T's and an A. Can we say three T's and an A? Three T's and an A. Fantastic. That's it. Three T's and an A. Truth, trust, transparency, and accountability. If you get any one of those wrong, it can be really, really difficult for you. It's like a hard road to home, I think is the phrase here, is it? Hard road to home? Is that a, that's an American phrase. Good. I'm, I'm learning you know, bits. I've only been here uh, four days, so I'm learning. Um, so, it, it, truth, always telling the truth. Now, of course, truth is a sort of you know, elastic concept. Um, you know, truth is what we perceive to be reality at that time, but it can change, right? Our, our idea of what is the truth now, I might think that that chair is red, but because I'm massively colourblind, and someone else can turn around and say, no, it's actually, a, and it's a different shade. I mean, I don't know, it could be green for all I know, I'm so colourblind. But, you know, I can turn around now and say, I believe that chair to be red. If later on I had my eyes corrected, right, I can say, actually, no, I can understand earlier on I thought that chair was red. Now, with new information, I realise that chair <coughs> is green, right? So I'm, I can be accountable for my words. N earlier on, nine months ago, I said that chair was red, but now I agree that it's green. And, and because I'm accountable for my words, because everything is stored digitally, Google will find my old words. And the, and, and the social media world will know if I try and, it's like a politician. If I, if I turn up and say something, right, um, and nine months time I say something else that deliberately contradicts that, the press now pick it up instantly. And so does the social media community. Because they say, hang on, it's, in, it's, on, it's on Google. You said this, right? So you have to own your words now. So whatever I put up in, in the social media sphere, I have to own it. I have to be accountable for my words. But I'm allowed as a human being to change my mind. As long as I acknowledge, okay, well, you know, I said that nine months ago, but I've changed my mind, I've changed my view. You're allowed to do that. People can do that with people. It's, it's, and so that's one of the benefits of social media. Don't be scared of changing your mind. Because everyone changes their mind. Um, and if you lose the people's trust by not being transparent, then your reputation will, will be shot. And as Alan has said many times in, in presentations, your reputation is increasingly based on what Google says your reputation is. So uh, it's not a case of how good you think you are, it's a case of how good Google thinks you are. Right? And so if, if uh, say, they say I do a, a, a presentation here, right? And it's, people go away and say on their blogs or in their Twitters, that Lee Hopkins was a complete idiot. Did not know what he was talking about. That would come up in Google. So I might think I'm the best thing since sliced bread. Someone searching on my name will go on Google will come up and there'll be all these things. Lee Hopkins was a waste of space. Lee Hopkins was a waste of time. What a complete idiot. All this sort of stuff, right? So I might think I'm fabulous, 
But all these other people, the real people, have said no, he's a complete waste of space. So you've got to be very, very transparent about what you're talking about. And you've got, to be, you've got to know what you're talking about. Does that make sense so far? Yeah? Any questions so far? Okay. All right. Three T's and an A. Very, very important. If you get those right, then it doesn't matter what you do on what platform in any social media space. Just remember to be truthful, transparent. You're, you're, by, by doing so, you'll have people's trust and just remain accountable for your words. Don't be like a politician and say, oh, I, you, know, you took it out of context. Okay. Alan, back to you. Yep. Um, I'm often asked uh, by small businesses and then you know by large businesses, for that matter, why should we be on something like Facebook, for example? Uh, and you may be asking, okay, why would a local business here want to be on Facebook? 19% of the American population is on Facebook. So if there's a population here in this area, I think it's about 30,000 in the uh, sort of broad area here. That's 6,000. Uh, Facebook uh, users who are your potential customers, all right? Uh, and that's up from uh, just 8% a year ago. 